these are the uh, join these two uh, components he named it as finger one and finger two using a uh, uh, adgazil and he uh, test uh, perform tensile test and, and fracture toughness also he come up with the result with a better uh, tensile strength and fracture toughness similarly one more author eric allen also investigate the mechanics sum of bio inspired suture interface uh, by varying the angle tip angle from 22.6 degree to 11 point uh, minus 11.3 degree so uh, from that result what i understood is uh, anti trapezoidal uh, that means uh, beta value with minus 11.3 degree gives maximum tensile strength so uh, from that what i understood is by applying bio inspired uh two dimensional sutures we can increase the strength of the ftm components similarly i came across uh, with this uh, author burns at all who investigate the bifurcation zone of uh, tree branches so so he is he fabricate the same 3d interlock structure of uh, tree branches but not using additive manufacturing technique by using conventional uh, composite uh, method uh, and he come up with the result uh, it, it enhances the uh, damage tolerance property so similar to tree branches so this also inspired me and the third way to enhance the strength is by employing optimization techniques uh, by varying uh, by finding optimum process parameter values and also by identifying significant process parameters so by this literature survey uh, i noticed that uh, optimization parameters such as uh, extruded temperature layer thick infill pattern and build orientation uh, are all important to uh, enhance the strength of ftm components so the objective here is to enhance the strength of ftm components especially at joints why because joints are the weakest uh, part in uh, components fdm components so i plan to enhance the strength of fdm components especially at joints so for that from that literature survey i understood composite feedstock is one way to uh, improve the strength of fdm component joints and the other uh, way is by searching biological solution in nature and then uh, the third one is by optimizing the process parameter by identifying the significant process parameter and the optimum values so by by these three methods we can uh, enhance the strength of ftm components so what i did is once i identified the biological solution i need to check before going to fabrication i check uh, whether it will work or not by using uh, structural analysis the methodology is literature survey so from the literature survey i understood composite material that means composite feedstock bio inspired suture and process parameter optimization all these three uh, points are very important to enhance the strength of fdm components i developed the research objective and then i fabricated a composite feedstock by reinforcing short carbon fiber with pla and then i identify the biological solution uh, in nature i identified uh, three different type of sutures one is spline triangle and rectangle and also i designed the uh, suture in uh, solid works software and then i fabricated the bio inspired sample as per the design of experiment after uh, testing i developed a regression model for each interlock uh, suture and then i select the best interlock suture and i use that regression model as a uh, function to optimize uh, for optimization here i use particle swarm optimization technique uh, response surface methodology and uh, hydrotropism optimization technique to find the optimum value so this is how the methodology goes so we all know about fused deposition modeling is very simplest process uh, it's having three axes x y and z x and y axis the nozzle will move in x and y direction the platform will move in z direction up and down so as per the g code the x the nozzle will move x and y 
uh, there are two spools one is to load build material and another one is for support material so this uh, build material is fed into nozzle by extruder uh, and then once it heated to the melting point what happened these x and y the nozzle will move in x and y direction as per the g code and it form the three dimensional object so this is how the fuse deposition modeling uh, works and the one more way to enhance the strength of fdm components is by reinforcing continuous carbon fiber but it is very very difficult when compared to uh, short carbon fiber reinforced uh, composites why because we need to modify the nozzle setup as well as we need to set uh, fiber uh, feeder setup also it's very very difficult and moreover there is only one machine uh, available uh, in industrial grade to print these type of continuous fiber reinforced composites uh, but uh, the limitation here is we can't able to print uh, complex shape structures why because uh, there is a fiber inside the composite right so it's very difficult to print continuous fiber composite feedstock we can fabricate simple uh, shapes so that's the limitation of uh, continuous carbon fiber reinforced feedstocks so if i fabricate one uh, single extruder uh, setup uh, here what i did is i buy pla pellets and uh, powdered carbon fiber with one 150 micrometer and uh, length and uh, 7.2 micrometer diameter uh, and then i mix these two uh, in a blender five with five percentage of uh, powdered carbon fiber why because if i increase beyond that what happen definitely clog will occur so i i limited i uh, up to five percentage and i mix these two uh, well in a blender for 20 minutes and then using the uh, customized filament fabrication setup uh, composite filament was uh, fabricated compost short carbon fiber reinforced pla composite was fabricated and to check the distribution of uh, carbon fiber uh, i took same image from that same image i understood here you can see the carbon fibers are distributed in uh, that filament so from that uh, it was concluded that uh, the carbon fibers are distributed e evenly throughout the filaments so once i fabricated the composite filament the next step is biomimicry there are three types of uh, uh, there are various levels of biomimicry uh, in this uh, research i took structural level and behavior level of biomimicry so for this structural level biomimicry you can see uh, there are two types of approach one is uh, top down design approach and other one is bottom up approach this is uh, an example for uh, top down design approach why because uh, we all know that uh, bullet train will reach up to its maximum speed of 360 km per hour but the problem here is when it enter into a tunnel it create a sonic booms which create vibration as well as uh, it damages the structure also structure of the tunnel also so they need to solve the problem already they identified the problem so this is called top down design approach once we identify the problem we need to search for the solution they search solution in nature and they find the only bird which enter from low medium to high medium so uh, the bullet train uh, uh, outside the tunnel is uh, low medium inside the tunnel is considered as a high medium so this is how we need to redefine the problem into a biological term so once it's redefined into a biological term they find the solution uh, the shape of the kingfisher beak is the only reason uh, which effectively enter from low medium to high medium so that's why what they did is they they also uh, developed a bullet train with a wedge shaped structure nose so what happened by this they reduce the uh, the sonic boom it, it works this is called top down design approach